Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be showing you the planner that I was in for the month of December with my holiday setup. Now I know that Christmas is past, but I still wanted to do this video to show you guys what this planner looked like inside. I didn't show a lot of pictures of the inside of this on Instagram, so a lot of you were curious and have asked questions and have requested a video, so I wanted to show you guys. Also, this channel is like a scrapbook for me. I like to keep my history on here, so I definitely need to have my holiday planner on this. I did also have a holiday planner that I used that was my ring planner, and that is in a pack video that I already did and I will link that at the end so you guys can check that out. That was my Gilio ring binder that I used for the holidays and that one was also set up for Christmas and it came out super cute. So again, I'll link that at the end and anything that I mention in this video guys, I will put down in the comments. I'm a little bit behind on my comments here on YouTube, but I plan on catching up soon. So if you have any questions, just leave them below. I totally love hearing from you guys. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna look at the planner itself. This is from Foxy Fix, and again, I'll link it below. And I love this planner, it is brand new to me. It is in the color Coconut, and it's gorgeous. It's pure white, and I got it with the white stitching and the light pink elastic. It is a traveler's notebook, and it is in the size number two, which is a pocket planner. I absolutely adore this. I got this just in time for the holidays, just the beginning of December, and I've been in it since then, and I think I'm going to remain in it through January as well. I'm gonna show you everything that's on the outside of the planner first. And the first thing is this clip that I have on the outside. Now I do have a couple of more clips here and the reason why I am showing these is because I kind of rotated through these clips throughout the month of December. So I wanted to show all of them in case anybody had questions on which clips I was using. So the first one here is from Scrappy Drew Designs. I love this one, it is adorable. If you can see the sparkly pink, on the Santa hat and the Santa suit. It was just so cute, I had to have it. And I do have a coupon code for this store, so I will leave that below. And I'm just gonna put this in my little tray here that I have. And then the next one I used throughout the month was from Picks and Stones. And this one is gorgeous. I, if, if you can see the little gold that's inside the paper on the flowers. I really, really love this one. It was so perfect for my setup. So that was another one I used. I also used this one from Picks and Stones and this is so cute with the little doggy and the mailbox. I love this one and I love that the scarf and the little mittens were glitter and as you can see, they're really super sparkly. So I love this one. This was on the outside as well. And then my last one here, I think the shop that this one's called is Pinky Bows. I will definitely link that below. I love this one. I love that the Santa hat was pink and look at how sparkly it was. Really, really cute. So these are all the ones that I kind of rotated throughout the month on the front of my planner. So I just kind of wanted to show you all of them. So I'm just gonna set those aside. And then on my spine, I had this one here from Pigtails and Pockets. It's adorable because it has the little tiny bell on it and you can hear that it jingles. I absolutely love that. So we're gonna open it up and we're gonna look at the inside cover. Okay, this is the inside cover. I really love the way this came out. Now I tried to go simple in this planner because of the fact that it's only going to be used for the month of December or was only used for the month of December, but I kind of went crazy anyway. <laughs> I couldn't help myself. So I will show you everything that's here. The first thing we have is another paper clip and this one is uh, from Little Miss Daisy Rose. It's adorable. It says, I ate Santa's cookies. <laughs> It's so cute. I just had to have it. And it has that really pretty glitter on it as well. And then I have this pink Christmas tree that I was in love with this year. And this one here was from Southern Mess Designs. I will link that below. Look at how glittery and sparkly that is. It's just beautiful. Then here in this pocket, I just have a die cut that came from Ohana Story. I thought it was really cute. I love that it was had my name on it. This was a free, um, I think this one was a free one. Uh, really cute, I just love it. 
like that it looked like a little holiday tag. This paper back here, I just have in the pocket for a little bit more um, stiffness in the cover. The cover is just a hair too floppy for me. I'm getting used to it, but this reinforces the front a lot and I really like that. And this really cute die cut of the Christmas tree is from Unicorn Planner, really love that. This here is also from Unicorn Planner, which is the super huge pink stocking. I thought that was adorable. And then I have a die cut from Van Sticky and another one from Grumpy Bear. Totally love that. The background paper is also from Van Sticky. Now this one here, I don't remember where I got this one. <laughs> I believe I had gotten it through a Black Friday sale, but I don't remember. I will link it below. Then here I just have more Van Sticky digital paper that I printed myself. And these are my weekly inserts. Now this Santa clip here on the top, the Santa bell, I have no idea where that one's from. It's super old. So I will have to go back and look that one up because I'm not 100% sure. And I always use the Annie Plans inserts for my weeklies. And the first front page I kind of use for uh, journaling, just something that happened during the month that I like to remember. So here is my first kit that I used for December. This one was really cute, it's from Glam Planner. I actually had it from last year and I wasn't able to use it, so I ended up using it this year and I love the way that one came out. I'm really not a fan of glossy stickers, but sometimes there's certain companies that I will make an exception for just because I really love the stickers and I want them. Okay then, my next week, um, probably one of my favorites of all time, not just for December, was this one from Van Sticky. It is just so, so cute how this came out. I just love it. I found some matching washi tape from Target because the kit didn't come with washi tape. And I just think that that came out really super cute. And then my next week for December was this really cute Ohana Story sticker set. Love this one too. It came out adorable and I love it. And then my very last week for December was this set from Planner-esque. I will link her below as well and I have a coupon code for her. This set was really adorable. I just loved the Santa Claus sticker. It was so, so cute. This one here I also had from last year, but I wanted to use it so badly this year and really glad that I got to. So those were my weeks that I did for December. Then I have some Van Sticky die cuts, the other half of the Van Sticky um, vellum. This card was really cute. This card here is from uh, Planning Made Perfect. It was really cute. I believe it was part of her Black Friday specials. I'm really hoping she makes a full kit of this for January. I don't know if she's going to, but if she does, I'm going to be all over it because <laughs> it's so cute. The background paper is just a paper pack that I uh, purchased on Etsy that I printed myself as well as the snowflakes here. Now um, the glare that you're seeing is because these are in Foxy Fix dashboards. They're my favorite. I use those to create my dashboards and I just love them. This here is a die cut from Unicorn Planner, and this one here is from Kaylee's Paper 8. This is really super cute. She's got like the little donuts on her arms. I think that's adorable. Um, this came free in one of my um, Once More With Love orders, and I was so excited when I got it. I thought it was so cute. I love the ones with the blue hair. I'm hoping that she makes that a hair color option, but for right now, you can purchase the ones that have blonde hair, dark brown hair, um, light, you know, a lighter hair and a black hair. So just in case you want to get those, you can customize them to your own hair tone. I love that. So that's really cool. This paper here I loved. I believe this was from Southern Mess Designs. Um, really cute. Now I'm not going to show you the inside of my inserts just because these have a lot of personal things in them. This planner stayed on my desktop mainly and my rings is what traveled with me. So I have a lot of personal stuff in here, but this to-do list or to-do lists. Um, this insert is from Annie Plans. And I just have another Van Sticky uh, die cut in the back and the back half of that vellum. Next, I have my passwords insert. This is also from Annie Plans and it just has a Create With Pen sticker on it. 
Then I have um, this vellum here that I printed myself just from a free, uh, not from a free, but a paper pack that I purchased on Etsy. And this is from Unicorn Planner. I love this little kitty with the stock and I just had to have her because you guys know I'm a cat freak. So I have three of them, three babies. <laughs> so I really like anything that has cats on it. And this here, this Santa Claus clip is super old. I don't remember from where. I'm thinking it was Twister Plans, but it was really a long time ago. So this was all my um, extra lists that I had for uh, December. And then here's the back of it with another uni uh, unicorn planner uh, die cut. Really love that. I have this here that's so cute. I love it. It's so adorable. I use this as a bookmarker throughout the whole month. And this one, I always forget the name of the shop. Uh, it's a popular one. I'm sure all of you know it, but I'll link it below because I totally am forgetting it right now. And then right here is a card that I got in a Coffee Monster order. I thought it was really cute, so I just trimmed it down for the pocket size. Then this Diana clip here, I love. This is one of my favorite clips. This is from Picks and Stones. I love the glitter on it, but I love the huge size of it. And if you can see, it's one of the covert clips. So it's the ones that clip down on the page versus ones that stick up from the top of the page. So really, really love that. I just kind of stuck that here. And this background paper, um, this one, I don't remember where this background paper is from. I'm thinking it's from Bullfrogs and Butterflies, and I'm pretty sure that's it. I cut it and put it right in as soon as she sent it to me. And then I have some Grumpy Bear stickers. I printed these myself. These were from a digital file that I purchased. This background snowflake paper, this vellum, also from uh, Bullfrogs and Butterflies from Michelle. Totally love that. And another Unicorn Planner uh, die cut. This one was really sweet. I loved it. It was the little kitty with the lights on it. Like I said, guys, anything with kitties, I'm all over it. <laughs> this clip here I really liked. It's Santa sleigh. I loved it because it had the little pink bow on it. And since mainly I was doing pink and red, I really like that. This is my Christmas insert that was um, actually so much crafting. This is the other side of that vellum. And this card here is from Van Sticky. Love this. A lot of us got these in our orders for December timeframe and for November timeframe. I just thought it was so cute with all the girls on it. And I love that I was able to trim it down for pocket size and it still fit. This paper here was part of the digital paper pack that I purchased. So I printed that myself. And then this is my appointment tracker. It's from Annie Plans. My, all my appointments are written in the front, but that's what it looks like inside. It's really cute. I do all my forward planning in here. I know it's just for appointments, but anything that's forward coming up, I like to write down in here. And then this way, when I plan my week, I can flip over to here and see what I have coming up. And it's really been useful for forward planning. I have my Ohana Story sticker book, which is super cute, I love it. And some Grumpy Bear digital paper that I printed myself. I have my Nicole Hutch uh, Designs uh, label booklet. I like this label booklet a lot. Sometimes you just need that one label that's short in the kits that you get in a specific color and I like to be able to grab at that. And I also have a Create With Pen sticker book. This is probably one of my favorite ones. And then in the back, really simple, I have this bookmark that I made of my for my kitty cats. Um, I was using it for the kitty cat section, but now I'm using it as like a writing board. So if I'm somewhere in the planner and I need to write something and I need a little bit more of a stable background, I will sometimes pop that in the back and it really helps. And then I have my Coffee Monster uh, sticker book for December. I use several of those. And then just a Kaylee's Papery um, business card because I totally love it. It's so cute. This pen here is from Pen Gems. I love it. It is the super shiny gold one. And it's just like the perfect color gold. Love that. And the one thing I did miss is some clips. I just have these two clips here in the back. 
that I really like. And I miss this little candy cane clip that's from Berry Sweet Plants that I really like and super cute. These actually mark different sections in my planner. Um, I know a lot of people don't like to use clips because it's intimidating to them or they feel like they get in the way or they can't pack them in their bags. I don't seem to have a problem with that. I still throw these planners in my bag to go. This one stayed on my desk for the holidays, but it did hit my bag a couple of times. So it did leave the house. And basically this one here was marking my December calendar so I could pop to my calendar very quickly. I used my peach palm, which I also skipped, sorry guys, uh, that marked whatever week I was on. My Santa Claus marked my to-do lists, and my sleigh marked my Christmas insert, so I knew how to get to it really quick. And then these two here, which were the two ribbon clips, were just decorative in the back, so those didn't really have a purpose. So that's what the top of it looked like. That's everything. I really, really loved how this planner came out. Um, probably one of my favorite setups. And just to show you too, on the spine of my Foxy Fixes, I get all of them with the gold moon. It just, I really like it. I used to do the heart on a lot of mine, but I switched over to the moon when they added that one because it's just so, so much more me than the heart is. And really love it. This Foxy Fix is packed, but I could actually get more in here. There's so much more space. Look at how much wider I can make this if I chose to. So I just had what I needed for the holidays and for the month of December. I totally love this setup. I'm going to miss it, but I am going to continue using this coconut um, color through January. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I wanted to try to make it a little quicker than most of my videos. I kind of feel like I rambled on and on on this is this and this is that, but basically that's what you do when you're in a flip. But I really, really love the way this came out for December. And I hope you guys enjoyed this. Definitely leave any questions or comments below. I love to hear from you guys. And I really appreciate you guys watching. Um, we went over 7,000 followers for this channel this year and this past year and I mean it's just unbelievable I can't believe you guys are here and love to watch so much you guys love to watch me ramble on I don't know we didn't have Bella visit today she's actually sleeping and napping right now she's been cranky all day so I'm kind of glad that she's sleeping but usually we have a little kitty cat visit we didn't have that today but thanks so much for watching guys I really appreciate it and see you in the next video Bye.